back to another vlog. If you're new, hi, my name is Carissa. So we are getting ready for the day. It is Saturday, happy Saturday. Today is going to be a fun organizing day. We are getting a head start on, I guess, spring cleaning. This place is an absolute disaster. So part of this video is just probably gonna be like me straight up embarrassed of like what I'm showing you of how dirty my house is. But it is what it is, right? It's reality. <laughs> But before we get uh, going with cleaning and organizing and decluttering and like all that sort of stuff today, of course, there's going to be like other stuff that we're getting into today, but that's like the primary focus for the day. Um, I need to finish getting ready. I want to do my hair. I think I'm just going to slick it back into a bun so that way it's like out of my face and plus my hair is like pretty dirty so uh yeah i don't really want it down and around my face later tonight we'll wash my hair and i actually have like a few new products to try out too so i'll share those products with you when we get to that point but as of right now let's do this hair i'm gonna put on a sweatshirt because part of the work is gonna be organizing the garage <sighs> something i've been putting off for a very long time but anyways, I need to wear a sweatshirt because it's kind of cold outside. And I'd rather put this on now before I do my hair versus after when I do my hair. So it's easier. Okay, we're just gonna go with a little Aritzia cropped number. A few things that we will need for this. I don't typically use hairspray, but I'm gonna use hairspray because I really don't want it to like come apart. I have like my normal hairbrush. Oh, it's pretty dirty. And then one of like these bristle type of brushes that helps like get things like super fine and slicked back. And then I have two hair ties. We're gonna do one in a ponytail and then the other is gonna be for wrapping it around into a bun. So let's just get to it, right? We all know how to do this, baby. Just take this sort of brush and then start to just slowly go around. and slick the hair. All right, this is fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. So then you take the skinny hair tie and put it into a ponytail. Helps keep like everything nice and tight. And then I go around with like a scrunchie to make it look like more loose. And then I keep like a little bit out as well. So it kind of like does like that in the back. And that's pretty much it. Put an extra hairspray if you want to. And that's our sleek bun. Done. Oh, and I forgot to give a little bit of an update on the makeup that I was testing out in the last vlog. This is pretty much it. I did swap out the foundation like I was anticipating that I wanted to for just like my regular one. I think I had the makeup on for about 10 or 11 hours, which was pretty long. So anything I say, it's just like, well that's bound to happen by having your makeup on for that long. But my face definitely got very like shiny and greasy, especially in my T-zone area. And then my chin like completely separated and fell apart. But I think that that's probably because I caked on a lot of like concealer and makeup around like the breakouts on my chin. So that's probably the reason. But I feel like everything held up really, really well. And I didn't notice like no, maybe I take that back. I was gonna say maybe I didn't notice that the blush contour and stuff like faded too much throughout the day, but I think it faded a little bit. But I feel like it still gave like a very natural look. I mean, you guys tell me. At the end of the vlog, it was what? Between 8 and 9 p.m. And you can see how like my makeup looked, but... Anyways, I figured I would give a little bit of an update on that. This makeup is pretty much that, but I did switch out my foundation, like I mentioned. And then I think I added a little bit of just like a powder blush on top. And then I took away one of like 
the highlighters that I used. And the makeup that I'm referring to that I tested in the last vlog, if you didn't watch it, it is from Westman Atelier and it was like tons of like gorgeous luxury cream products that was really fun to try out. So definitely go watch it if you guys didn't, but okay, let's go downstairs. Ah, uh, the kitchen, the start of the mess that Juan and I are gonna work on today. Well, I'm primarily gonna work on the kitchen to start. And this is kind of like what we are working with. So things just kind of gather throughout the week and stuff like that, normal, right? Like when you're super busy. This stuff is organizers for the drawers. That That's something that we're gonna tackle right now. So yeah, we're just gonna try to clean up some of this mess to get that kitchen island back. This I am so excited for. I can't do anything about it at the moment because I'm waiting for the soil to come. But these, as you can see, these pots have become way too small and the poor plant like won't stand up anymore. So these definitely need to get repotted. So this is something I'm gonna do probably later in the week once the soil arrives. But I wanted to show you all of like the new pots that I got. And this is kind of like the setup that I'm gonna have in this corner, which I think is really cute. I currently just have this back one on like a cake stand, but I'm gonna see if I can find like some other sort of stand, but I wanted something like this. So I just wanted to see what it looked like. So yeah, I really like that vibe. Um, these two pots are from Pottery Barn and this one is from Target, but I kind of like the mix of like the cream with the gray and the black. I feel like that really fits like our aesthetic for our house and such. So that's where all of these plants are going to go, but there's nothing I can do about that mess. But yeah, let's go ahead and tackle everything else. These little pots, I thought were so cute too. I got this from Target but I kind of like the rustic ones a little bit more, but this is another option that I'll link below. This one was another one from Target as well. I absolutely loved the look of this one. The problem is, is that I've ordered this like three separate occasions and they've all come like completely just broken. So I kind of gave up on, on this one. They package it like really poorly for shipping. So this I need to throw away and this I need but these are good options. pretty dang good now everything is like for the most part cleaned up that is our lunch sitting and the sink but yeah this we're gonna go to now so these are the drawers that i really want to organize i don't even know what's in here lots of random stuff and this one as well and then we'll see about also doing this one so these drawers pretty much have like a combination of like random stuff that was already here before like i moved in and then also doubles or excess of things that i brought over that juan already had as well but also there just wasn't a lot of organization to begin with so it's been on my mind to do this like the far drawer over here this one i really want to be like more baking and those sort of like accessory tools focused this one right here and then this one too like next to the dishwasher i want to be more like organized junk drawers too um and then i'm sure a bunch of this stuff i'm gonna just take out and move to different spots in the house like i saw like a bunch of candles so i might move that to like a linen closet and i saw some cables too so that might be something that gets moved downstairs um to the garage like once it, we go down and organize the garage so i'll probably pull out a bunch of stuff to um take to other parts of the house that just really don't belong in the kitchen anymore too you know so yeah let's go ahead and get to it all of these organizers i got off of amazon so i ended up getting 
two different sizes and obviously I measured the drawers. So I think like five of these fit this way and then like three this way. So I wanted to try doing like a combination of like these bamboo drawer organizers, but a more like cost effective way is to get like these sort of bamboo organizers and create like little sections. So I might use these for the junk drawers and then I might use these for the kitchen tools baking like sort of drawer. That's kind of like what I'm thinking, but we don't know until we start testing things out. So I'm gonna open all of these up, pull everything out of the drawers so we can get started on this. This is the finished product for now. So here's the one junk drawer. Organized all the batteries, miscellaneous, I don't even know, whatever stuff, the luggage wear, some essential cords that I use in the kitchen, and just some extra pens next to some paper and notepad, lint rollers just in case we want to lint roll before we head out the door, some candles, I decided to keep it right here, and then just some tools that we would use on a regular basis, like a tape measure, screwdriver sort of stuff, a leveler, or some tape for like packaging up things. So that's that drawer, it looks pretty good. This is the kitchen utensil sort of drawer. So these ones didn't work out the best way. Like they're still like, what is this? A couple of inches gap in the back, but this like fit like a glove. So I think this works for now. Like I'm fine with it. Bunch of like random things in the back. And I kept some instructions on how to cook some stuff since I took everything out of the packaging in my pantry, you know. And then a pizza cutter, apple cutter, different sort of measuring, utensils, baking stuff, lemons and lime squeezer, can opener, frother, cheese graters, got it all mixed. And then this is a bunch of like wine and beer opener sort of stuff. So I think this drawer looks really good as well. And then last but certainly not least, this is a super empty drawer, which is really nice to see so that we have room to grow. I have like just an extra one of these. This is for the dishwasher. Um, and then some of like Oliver's stuff here. So as you guys know, I portion out his raw food. So these are the empty containers for that. I could probably get more bowls. I only have two. Um, and it's kind of hard when you feed them every day raw food to like keep these clean. So I might actually get more bowls and then I can probably stack them here. And then just some like catnip and stuff. So yay. That was actually so much fun to do. And then I ended up actually taking a few things from other areas to like group things together. So I feel like the kitchen is like more functional and organized. And then all of this stuff right here is things that I took out of the drawers that's gonna go into other spots. Most of this is going to go downstairs. So next up, let's get Juan and let's go down to the garage now. And the space that you guys have never seen on camera. So get ready for the reveal of the room that has never been shown. You guys, this is another level of embarrassment. We got a lot of work to do. You'll see in a second. 
All right, let's show you what we're up to in the garage. So as of right now, we have zero organization. Zero. I just moved my car out of the garage. So this is like one of two heavy duty shelving units that I got. The second one is out of stock. So I'd rather just start now and have one. So we're gonna build this and then we're gonna put it back here. The idea is to have like almost wall to wall like shelving back here in the, this little coval in our garage. And yeah, we're gonna pull all this stuff out, build the shelving unit, put it back there and then start to organize all of this mess. In addition, this is the room that you guys never ever see. That is an absolute disaster. This looks a lot worse than it actually is because every single time I receive boxes, it just like gets stacked in here. So I definitely need to break down all of the boxes. You guys, this is from a week. It's ridiculous. Break down all the boxes so that we can put it in the recycling, but there's a lot of stuff back here like our suitcases, lots of like tools and art stuff and things back here um, that you can't see too. That we're essentially gonna move out of this space and into the garage. I already bought like a few like empty like storage bins. I have more in the back that I've been collecting that we are going to use to start organizing. But yeah, this is a huge undertaking. Let's do it. <laughs> Here you go. So here's the shelf we're building. How exciting. And it's gonna go right, oh, and it's gonna go right there. It says no tools. You see it's not what you see, just like pop in the place. Helpful tools. Uh, rubber mullet. It's upstairs. Do we call it mullet? Yeah. Upstairs, upstairs. Well, let me check down here first. But yeah, I have the mallet and I brought it over. three o'clock we're finally getting around to making lunch we're just gonna make some burgers with some scalloped potatoes Juan ran to the store really fast to go get an avocado and also get the box 
to make scalloped potatoes. That's gonna be like our side dish. So right now I'm just trying to cut up some cheese and then get like the onion ready to go. Um, even though the scalloped potatoes are probably gonna take like 25 minutes, but anyways, lots of progress being made on the garage and that room downstairs like next to the garage had to take like obviously a little break to eat to refuel get some more energy to tackle it i don't know like how clean we're gonna get it because a lot of the stuff like let's be real all that furniture down in that room needs to be donated we're just gonna like completely clear out the entire room and start fresh. That's like really old furniture that Juan had, um, I don't know, like when he moved to the US. So yeah, it's kind of gonna go. I think we might keep the orange couch actually cause it pulls out into a bed, but I think over time we'll upgrade it to something else that's not orange, <laughs> not my preference. <laughs> we'll do what we can today and then I'll make a list of other things that I would like to do for the room and then I'll slowly get to it over time. But what I can see so far is I have like a ton of extra storage bins that we're just really not gonna utilize right now for like what's down there. So that's really good because then I can see like what else is around the house that doesn't need to be in the house and move it down there too, you know? So that was a lot of work that we just did for like over three hours, you know? So I definitely didn't film a before of this, but while I was waiting for one, I completely reorganized like our cocktail cabinet. I don't know what to call it. All of the shelves were like really, really high and it just really wasn't utilizing the space. And the wine decanter was like actually in another spot. So yeah, I like adjusted all the shelves and I brought everything over, <laughs> especially with me being short. It's like easier for me to like reach things on the shelves now. So we have like our old fashioned glasses down here. Juan has his whiskey glasses and a few like things to make his old fashioned. Um, we finally got like ourselves a little torch so that when we use the cocktail smokers, <laughs> it'll work better this time. And then we have some like shot glasses, uh, whiskey or wine stuff right there and then this one didn't change at all this is the other spot that we keep like our wine glasses um and such like things apart from day-to-day -day glasses and mugs so we have our wine glasses up here we have martini ones we have champagne down here and like beer glasses too and then at the very top it's just like a bunch of water bottles and stuff too so anyways this was a fun little project while i was waiting for him And finally, lunch is served, our usual go-to burgers. And we have our avocado and onion mix, and then we have scalloped potatoes too, so bon appetits. Yay, I'm starving. It is after four right now, I cannot believe we do this. And then we are just gonna watch Formula One. I think it's Drive to Survive is what it's called. They just came out with the new season, season four, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this, and I love Formula One, so anyway, we're gonna watch this and eat. All right, back at it again after lunch. Here's pretty much the final product for the garage as of now. You can see there's like a ton of stuff still over here. Like I said, I am gonna get like another one that's a little bit smaller than this widthwise to fit over here. This, we don't actually use this, so we're actually just gonna return it back to what the state, the waste management center. And then we have tons of like paint and leftover stuff from when they built the house. Some of these things like we can get like hooks and hanging on the wall, even like the long board and Juan has a snowboard that's still in the house. But I'm really happy with this so far. A few of these bins are actually empty. So definitely room to grow still, but it was nice to get like the suitcases out of the house and they're all like nested in one another and right there, which is really great. And then I have all of these labeled as well so i have like winter and hiking tools stuff for the car wash my art supplies and then this one oh i forgot to label this one this one's like summer stuff this whole bottom one is kind of like summer because these are our paddle boards that's like a like a canoe blow up canoe thing but yeah this is so much better i'm so happy about it and here is this room you guys i can completely walk through here now it's insane so it's still kind of like a storage 
spot kind of like what i was saying earlier there's a lot that we still need to do in this space but i feel like this is a pretty good start i can't get rid of this box yet i mean i can we just don't have room uh this week so next week we will get rid of this box and then back here is just storage stuff so i guess i could put it in the garage this is all empty now i need to list these for sale these are old bar stools so I gotta get that done so that these can get out of here and then just a table behind that used to be upstairs, something else that we need to get rid of. <sighs> this is just like so much wasted space down here. It's a huge room that we don't utilize, you know? And long-term, long-term thinking. I think it'd be really fun for this to be kind of like a hangout spot, but also like a fitness area. Like, remember how I've been talking about that I've been wanting to get a rower? I think the rower would go down here and we can like mount a TV. We can get maybe a smaller couch. If not, we could push this one over because like I said, I kind of like that this one pulls out into a bed just in case we have like extra people here that requires more than just like uh, the extra bedroom that we have upstairs. I don't know. I think that there's so much potential here. So many options, so many ideas, you know? But anyway, I think that wraps up the cleaning today. I am absolutely exhausted. I think it's after six o'clock now. So we're done, 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 done So We definitely accomplished it a lot. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> As you can see, I did not take a shower last night like I wanted to. Okay, well, I did take a shower to wash my body, but I did not wash my hair like I was planning on doing. I was so tired and exhausted. It just wasn't in the cards to do all that work. So saved it for this morning, which I was really excited to do because like I said, I was like wanting to test out like a few new products in the shower, actually. Speaking of those products, so the products that I used in the shower is that I use the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. Cause as you guys know, I've been trying to get my hair in a healthier state. Like the ends are like super frizzy. I really could just use a haircut. I'm trying to schedule an appointment for the last month, but I just haven't been able to get a hold of them um, to get an appointment. In the meantime, we're trying to just like make my hair like just super healthy as a whole. So yeah, I used this. I left it in for a pretty long time because as I, that was like, sitting and masking in my hair that's when i exfoliated and i shaved my legs and i found a new product for shaving my legs it's from fur it's a shave cream so good this was a good first impression so really like that and then now afterwards we're going to go in with a new product as my hair is wet it's the orbe hair alchemy for fine treatment serum uh, this is a brand new product and I'm really, really excited to try this. It says that it's a sheer fast absorbing serum that creates a protective veal around each hair fiber to improve tensile strength and elasticity while preventing breakage and encouraging its strength from within. That's kind of what I need, you know? I was very intrigued by this product, so we're going to throw this into our routine today and then I'm just going to combine it with the Orbe Super Shine Light Cream that I use. Both of these are, this is really good for thin hair, but this also said that it was gonna be good for thin hair, so that's why I'm excited to try it. I usually use like this combo, which this is the Orbe Power Drops Damage Repair Booster. It's all right, it's like really, really hard to get the drops like out of this container. So I was kind of like looking for a replacement from this because I just don't really see any results from that. So I'm gonna combine it with this new one. Let's just put this in my hair first. And of course, I kind of just focus from mid to end. I don't really touch the top because I don't want my hair to like get greasy. <laughs> I don't wash my hair all that often. I think I wash it once a week. It's taken a long time to get it in a position to only be able to wash it once a week, but game changer once you do. Okay, so it says it's a serum, but it looks just like a normal like gel creamy product. I don't know how much to use. So we'll go in with like that. That might be too much, but. And what I like about this product too, from what I read on the box, is that it's good on both wet and dry hair. And since I don't wash my hair all that often, it's nice to be able to find those products that I can use on dry hair. So that way in between using like hay products or something like that, I can throw it on because it actually says that it has a protective shield on it too. Uh, 450 degrees heat protection. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely something I can throw on before 
like straightening my hair or something like that. Okay, let's brush it out. I always use a tangle teaser. I feel like these are the best. It doesn't like rip out my hair, you know? So yeah, pretty excited about that. And that's kind of like my process, I guess, with when I uh, wash my hair and such. So we are getting ready for the day. I am gonna film two videos. So that's what I'm gonna get ready to do. It's pretty early on, it's like 9.30 right now. So I wanna try to bust this out as early as possible today. So that way I can still like enjoy my Sunday, you know? We're just gonna let that sit in my hair while I do my makeup and such. And then I'll like blow dry it and style it after makeup. Let's get to it. I can't be bothered anywhere, so... You haven't? I just got finished filming and he just walked in like right when I finished filming it was like perfect timing I'm starving though too like my stomach was starting to growl towards the end of my filming it's 1 30 what do you want what are you in the mood for two main options okay let's hear them <clears throat> one is the Korean place okay mama's kitchen for some reason I was thinking that you were thinking of the one uh down at the landing. No. The Korean place. Wow. I was like, oh, wow. I mean. <clears throat> Wait, are masks still required places? Or we don't know? We don't know. So I was gonna say, that would work really well to go out to eat somewhere because I'm wearing makeup and I hate wearing a mask when I have makeup on. So I can just be normal. I mean, now that you say that. This angle isn't that great. <laughs> Matador would be great. Matador? Wow. We haven't been what? there in a long time. <laughs> but that place is just like Locochon or something. No. I'm talking about the steak place. It's not called Matador? No. What's the name? I don't know. Are you thinking the about one the, one, the one in Kent? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that one's called. Wow. That would be delicious. You'll see. Do you want to do that one? And we need to go because we do need to go. River plays three thirty. So oof. Well, we have time. Whoa. I just need it to. I just the footage just ended up getting uploaded, so I just need to double check it really fast that everything looks all right. And then. Eat later. No, I always do it like right now. It's gonna take like ten minutes or less. What if there's a problem? Then at least I know so that I can plan ahead and figure there's out. No planning. We go grab food and then we come back. Not grabbing food. We're gonna eat there. Well, yeah. That's the concept of grabbing food. That's right? not grabbing food. Grabbing food is t doing takeout. So going there, grabbing it, and coming I home I grab it at the table. Not I like eat. you grab it at the table and you eat it. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, I can get ready in like 10 minutes to be Fine. ready to go. Fine. It's a matter of just like putting jeans on and stuff, babe. It's simps. Simple. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to go out for lunch, which is exciting. But yeah, I'm definitely trying to confirm that all of like this footage looks really good. Let me hold the camera because it's <laughs> that angle. I mean, wasn't the best on me, was it? So yeah, I just got done filming two videos. You guys heard that right, two haul videos. Typically I only do like one at a time, but um, I decided to do two. So while I like had all my setup fully up and had makeup on, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do like back to back, you know, just to make the most use out of um, out of my time. So I have a Lou Lemon haul coming and a Princess Polly haul coming. I don't quite know the order of the, like when the videos are gonna go up because I'm obviously filming this vlog too as we speak. So really I have three videos to go up. I'm thinking that I'm gonna have the Lululemon video go up this Tuesday and then save this vlog to go up on Friday and then the Princess Polly haul will come after that because the Princess Polly haul is sponsored so it'll require me to get approval. So that will probably be like the last one to go up. But anyways, tons of like videos coming up. Juan, yes I know. He came in here and like pointed to his wrist with the time. Okay, okay. But tons of videos coming up and things to look forward to. 
the Lululemon haul, you guys have probably already watched it by now if I do stick to that order. So good, so many pieces. I'm really excited for just like Lululemon spring stuff and for their shoes to come out too. And then for Princess Polly, you guys, like mind blown of how many amazing pieces I found to integrate into like my spring and summer rotation too. So really, really, really good video. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking, check this really fast and get dressed so that we can go out to lunch. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready, babe. I just need to share my outfit really fast with you guys. So this is what we are wearing today. Hopefully you can see. So I just have on this crop top that I am sharing in my Princess Polly haul. Love this. I actually have these trousers that are like old Princess Polly. Actually, that's really funny. That's a whole outfit is Princess Polly. These are one of like some of my all-time favorite trousers. I like best fitting overall and then i just have my dunks on some tall socks and then because it's probably a little chilly out i can't just wear a tank top as much as i want to by itself i'm gonna throw on this jacket with it no so it's kind of like an all black outfit what do you think of it nice you like it yeah. he doesn't really care he just wants to go eat <laughs> So he's gonna say it looks good. <laughs> okay, let's get things together. My phone. My purse. It's full of seats. Ready? Let's go. I need to get another purse. I need another purse option, you know? sleepy guys i have been editing for the last four hours like ever since we got back from lunch which was absolutely delicious and it immediately wanted to put me into like a food coma and take a nap but i didn't and i edited but now i'm just i need to take a break i'm done editing for the day i can pick it back up tomorrow mm, but now it's time to just like relax and i wanted to lay in bed and watch formula one drive to survive without one don't tell him even though he's gonna find out <laughs> i also started uploading a ton of the footage from this vlog which i think after further examination this vlog is probably gonna go up first on tuesday and then the lululemon haul and the princess poly haul so you guys now know the next three videos that will be posted and in the order but i saw how long all the footage was from this weekend it's a lot hopefully you guys really like long vlogs because i like am the queen of like super long vlogs so this one is gonna be no different it's gonna be extremely long but i didn't want to make it too long so i'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here hopefully you guys really enjoyed this vlog hopefully you guys just really had a great weekend yourselves hopefully you guys are starting off the week really really well too but anyways i'll just catch you guys in a few days in my next video bye guys love you so much mm -hmm.